So they have a conference like this, and they expect this big screen here will make a good presentation here, but actually it's not true. They have big limitation of presenting in this large audience. The presenter become very small, and in this TV screen they only bring people's face, and then they have a PowerPoint in another screen, so it is a very strange situation in everywhere for large conference. So uh, after that we are facing the smart world, Everybody has a smart device here. That means instead of watching every people in one screen, they have an individual device where they can see everything. The question is how we provide the presentation to this device. So I'm proposing the million students classroom by using iStudio. Understand? That's why they put the machine inside the classroom, it becomes the broadcast station so they can broadcast all the teaching exactly what they are teaching can be broadcast all over the world so I, I say projector make a bigger conference room but eventually I still can make a million people's classroom and also they record they can put this video in everywhere not only everywhere but anytime maybe 10 years later 100 years later they can see this so what I'm proposing to USA School, if you look at this picture, this is a typical classroom in USA. This is my, uh, my son's classroom. I visit there, I take a photo. This is mathematics teacher. She is always teaching here. She's using the document camera on, on, on here. And also she's using the PowerPoint with a tablet PowerPoint. So the notebook has a drawing. So the screen is showing here. Mostly, my son told me, most of the time she is using projector with a tablet. That's the way how they're teaching. Every classroom. Even my elementary school, my daughter told me same way. Many schools using this way for the presentation. So I'm proposing them, I'm, I checked all the classroom in Korea also. This is the one of the most advanced classroom in Korea where they use uh, all the nice technology, Cisco, the telepresence system here, and also they have a notebook, they have projector, they have electric board, everything. All the newest technology they put there, and the result is like this way, very messy. So these people here <laughs> watching here, these people here watching there, and everything is too small and very confusing. So this, every since here, I, I draw some cartoon here to show how they are trying to watch. This is, <laughs> this is a problem. Everywhere now have this problem. All the, all the material here too small for them to watch. This is a scientifically very bad situation. So I'm trying to change this one using the new technology. So we have to review what's the TV generation and what's the smart device generation we have. And then we have to think the same philosophy for class and smart class. So TV generation means every people sitting around the TV. They sit back in the dining room and they're talking and they're watching content from broadcasters. They have no choice to change the program, but they just gathering there and they just like several channels and watching. Same thing, yeah. now students going to school, they have no way to choice, choose the teacher. They have to watch given courses in one place like they're watching the TV. But now smart device world, every person has a smart device individually. They are watching independently here. So everybody has a, their own content. Let's apply this principle to school. What happened in school? School means previous classroom, there is a teacher, like a broadcaster, they have a one content everybody has to watch here. Now individual school students in the classroom can watch content if he, if he have a right content from different teachers. They have a one objective, goal is there. They can select the content by themselves. To make a, this kind of a school, to go, to go to smart classroom, they should have this kind of idea. So my idea is bring all these materials which the teacher wants to show, will integrate with iStudio to make a one output. So this output showing to students, that means this video can show everywhere. This then means this video can be recorded. 
So this is the machine I'm trying to install. So there is a, a teacher, we put this iStudio, but we make a iStudio machine here and slightly lower the monitors there. So teacher will not, will not disturbed by this monitor so she or he can see the students in front of the classroom. And also all the students will watch the project screen together with teacher. Sometimes teacher become big. If teacher wants to show himself only, he make uh, this kind of video. And some he, if he talk, everybody watching the teacher. But when he wants to start talking, he just bring the screen. And then he can increase the screen so that automatically students will think they have to watch the screen like this way. And if we use this